How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Wolfgang the Warlock Expert Mode Let's Play. So, we've got a lot to do this episode. We're going to go raid the snow biome for some slush to hopefully, with our extractinator, get some of the gems we need to start crafting the mage gear. So thank you so much to everyone who suggested going to the snow biome for gems and things like that. And also thanks to everyone in general for the amazing amount of requests for the series. So I try and incorporate your ideas as much as possible, so thank you to everyone for doing that. Alright, we've got a lot to do, lots of action gonna happen this episode, let's get started. Oh, and we can hand in some of our um, strange plants now too. This is really cool. So, let's get blue acid, reflective obsidian, acid mirage dye. Wow. I think the acid ones, unfortunately, are a bit, yeah, like they're cool, but they're a bit distracting, I find. So I think blue acid's the same. Yeah. Okay, what else do we get? Reflective obsidian. That's a bit different. Oh, check out what it does to his hair. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that's pretty trippy. Alright. Oh, it does some cool stuff to his shackles, too. Alright, that's pretty awesome. And we got another one, didn't we? Mirage die. What's that do? Oh, cool. It puts like... Puts like a bit of a sparkle effect on your armor. Okay, that's a bit different. Oh, that makes him look magical. Yeah. It's like, it's like magic is like pulsating through him. That's pretty trippy. I don't mind that. Okay, that's kind of cool. He probably looks more like a, a warlock without the um, wooden armor on, doesn't he? Maybe I should get the whole vanity set. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, I'll sort my inventory and we'll move on. I just had a quick thought and I was thinking about how we got the snow blocks and I thought what might be cool is let's try and make a like a snow sort of garden um, for the trees and you know you know how like in parks there's like sometimes there's like a little brick area and there's a tree in it so I don't know I might not have enough snow to do that let's try it with grey bricks yeah it's probably gonna be a bit easier all right, let's see if it works. That is so awesome! Yes! <laughs> That's gonna look so cool. And we can do it with like... I might have to build one off the ground for the crimson trees for the shade wood, but... I really like that. That's gonna work. Yes! That's awesome! Alrighty, so we're just about ready to move on for our next adventure. And we've got a tree has grown already. How cool is that? So the system works. I love it. Now, I've been chatting to a few of you, and I'm putting the water bolt away. Yes, I know, I'm not crazy. Um, and I, I've just been chatting to you, and I think, you know, in my Let's Plays, I usually like to try and challenge myself. And, uh, ooh, Bannister. We'll take that. Beautiful. Uh, I do like to challenge myself, and that's why I don't use things like the Meteor Set and the Meteor, uh, the Space Gun. I think it really detracts from the challenge of the game. So I'm not going to use the water bolt uh, until a bit later. It's like in the Yaren series too, how I didn't use the Amazon straight away. Uh, I think, you know, we, the, the reason we play these games and do these challenges is to make it hard on ourselves. So that's what I want to do. <laughs> so we're making our way to the uh, snow biome. And unfortunately, the snow biome is smack bang. And yes, I know there's lead there, but I'm not stopping moving. Uh, oh, goodness, face monster. Uh, the snow biome is smack bang in the middle of the crimson biome, which is just lovely. So what I'm going to do... Ooh, deathweed, yeah. So what we're going to do is make our way here. We'll get in about the middle. And then what we'll do is build a little roof over our head and then just start digging down. Uh, and hopefully the crimson mobs can't get us. Alright. 
Yeah, this is looking pretty nice. I remember this passageway here. This looks like good a place as any, guys. So, let's, uh... Although, there's not really any killer mobs here now, so... That's okay. And that's not... There we go. So, basically, what we'll do... Is just dig on down. Can I... Have I got a glow stick? Beautiful. There we go. That'll put some light on the subject. So, we're digging down, and... A lot of you suggested, um... Going to snow biome because apparently slush is fairly common. And slush is something we can use in our extractinator. And oh my gosh, the slimes that were spawning then. Oh goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we can use slush in our extractinator to hopefully get some gems. Because I would love to be making the uh, gem robes, uh, which a lot of you have requested. You're like, oh, happy, make gem robes. And I'm like, Sweet, that's a great idea, I just need some gems. <laughs> and a lot of you want me to make gem staffs as well, or gem staves. Depends how you say it. I think staffs and staves are both both correct, so... Although for me, staffs... I don't know, staves sounds very Old English. Like how the Old English would say it. Oh yes, can you get my staves, please? But, uh, hey, look, it's all good. Okay, there's so much of it here. Wow. This is like Slush City. My goodness. Christmas has come early. I mean, if you love Slush, I suppose. Goodness. Okay. So, let's put that there. Lovely. So, hopefully we find some underground rooms and stuff too. It can't all just be business. It can't just be ice and slush. I think there's some lead there or silver as well. Which is kind of cool. There we go, we're up to 115 slush. There is much slush. Alright. Oh, there's a bit of demonite. Oh no, crim crimtain, I believe it's called. In a crimson world. Alright, that does that. Let's have a look. and see what the bat was guarding. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I even saw it and I still stood on it. Ah! Why do you hate me? Oh, 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 guys, do you see this? <gasps> it's a, it's a room. It's a room. Oh, there's a piranha statue. Wow, Ice Blade. <gasps> An Ice Mirror. Do you know, I'm going to use it because I've never used an Ice Mirror before. Like, I know it's the same as a Magic Mirror, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, and Spelunker. Whoa, check out all the aura around us. No way. That is crazy. I can't believe how much there is. And there is like tons of slush above my head. And we don't, oh no, we don't have a piggy. Uh oh. What are we gonna do? Uh, I can probably get rid of that, that, that. Those. Alright. Make some space. Make some space. Oh, guys. Okay, I'm gonna mine all this slush around and then I'll be back because it's gonna take a little bit. See you soon. Alright. Lots of slush. Slush achieved. Oh, I still kind of want more. I'm interested at this... Oh no, our Spelunker wore off. Oh, should I use the other one? Or should maybe... Let's go back to base. Let's see what we get from all this. Oh my gosh, it's teeming rain. Wow, and there's still one little tree there. Oh goodness. Alright, I'll clean up my inventory and then let's have slushy time. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've sorted our inventory, and I grabbed out any gems that we've got. So we've got 8 rubies, 7 amethysts, and 5 topaz. And we've got quite a lot of slush to put in. So I'm pretty sure you just, yeah, you just use it like this. Um, so we're hoping for any and all gems that we can get. And not just all, we've got an amber, that's kind of cool. Oh, sapphire. Come on, gems. Although I'm pretty sure the rubies, we've got enough rubies, I just hope we've got the right bar to go with it. So yeah, how are we going? Not too many gems so far. But we do have another Spelunka potion, so we could actually use that and just go Spelunking for gems too. If we don't get enough. So we'll see what happens. Alright. So, yeah, we didn't really get too many more gems. 
We got some amber, which is kind of cool. We're getting everything, guys. We're getting everything. We can make a fishing pole. Probably should do that. Because we've got lots of uh, fireflies. So that's kind of fun. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. I could upgrade our pickaxe. Platinum pick. 12 platinum. So, let's just double check what gem goes with platinum to make the gem staff. I'm pretty sure one must. Let's see. A d oh, that makes the diamond staff. Well, we haven't found any diamonds yet, so... Yeah, that's a bit tricky. Maybe we should just make the platinum pick then. Uh, it's... what's 59... Versus 43. Yeah, let's make it. Let's do it. Alrighty, well, sh well, I guess we should continue the hunt. We need to power up. And we've now we've got all these random ores too. <laughs> and a spelunker. Alright, I reckon maybe we could hit up our hella va Oh no! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I reckon maybe use our last spelunker and I'll do a quick run for more gems. Maybe we'll get lucky. Because this area does look interesting. Let's grab a mushroom too. Because why not? Let's have a little look. Little look, spelunking is so fun. Hmm. Anything for happy? No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What's that? Hang on. Oh. I saw the switch. Oh my gosh. I saw the pressure plate. We will definitely take that. Oh, it's a boulder too. Oh my gosh. Boulders. Oh, how I despise the boulders. <gasps> An underground room. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Woo, 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 woo. Here we go. Oh, there's a king statue as well. And a gold chandelier. And a killer slime. You're not coming in, slime. Too bad. What's in the box? <laughs> Another cloud in a bottle. Oh, gosh. And some silver bars. And we are full, full, full. Uh, I need to bring Piggy on the adventures. Alright, I think that'll do, guys. Let's not be greedy. We've had a fun adventure. It's time to return to base and face all the killer monsters. Oh my goodness. It's raining. It's a blood moon. There's panic in the streets. There's a dripper. One damage. No thank... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, they do some hardcore... <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, let's lead him one way and then teleport back. Alright, this is a dash for the prize. I'm gonna make it in out. Oh my gosh. I might even. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> I shouldn't be able to get in too badly. Oh my goodness. There's, look at all these mobs everywhere. This is crazy. Alright, I am so excited to see what we can make. So I'll just sort out my inventory and then we'll have a play with it. Okay, the bloodthirsty undead have left. So let's see what we can make. Oh my gosh. Let's put all our jemmies in there. All nice. We should be able to make a gemstone hook too, which is super, super awesome. Okay. So, I know we'll be able to make one gemstone. It just matters. just depends on what. There's a sapphire one. So that does 17 magic damage, which is slightly better than our wand of sparking. Is that the only one we can make? Or can we make more? Okay, there's a Topaz one, so Topaz obviously not as good. 
So Sapphire uses silver. Topaz is just using tin. Oh, okay. And all right, so we can make a sapphire staff or a topaz staff. All right, and then the gemstone hooks as well. All right. So I wonder, I wonder what. Did I check this already? Which block goes with amethyst? Copper. Oh yeah, yeah. So we'd need. Is it actually strong though? No, not at all. So I might make an amethyst hook. All right, let's make a sapphire hook. I mean a sapphire uh, staff. Please, good modifier. No! <laughs> Why? Oh my gosh, still awesome though. Okay. Yes. We have an upgrade. This is magical, pun intended. <laughs> okay. Uh, next thing we need to do, let's grab all our stuff. Let's make a loom, and then we can make the magic clothing. So, loom, loom, loomy loom. And then we'll get our cobwebs out of the... I think I put them in like a natural resource box. Yep. Okay, let's put the loom out here in the pouring rain. Loom. I'll get a better spot for these things later, guys. Now, maybe... Yeah, okay, so we need to make silk. Let's make... Alright, let's make 30 silk. And that should give us an option for the robe. Alright, boom. Oh yeah, look at all these! Okay, so we can make sapphire. Alright. So the better, and they require 10. So I can almost make a ruby one. Almost. <laughs> Quack! <laughs> the duck. <laughs> so funny. Well, it looks like the sapphire again is the best one. So, 40 mana and reduces mana costs. That's kind of cool. So let's put that on. Oh, yeah. Now we're looking a bit more like a, a wizardy warlock guy. Oh, that's so cool. And we've got increased mana pool. <gasps> this is so good. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> oh, yeah. So good. <laughs> All right. That is an awesome, awesome upgrade. So let's see. What can I do? Actually, I can probably make a bed. If I make some more silk. Which, why not? I usually leave beds for so long. Uh, oh no, I probably make it at the sawmill, don't you? Oh gosh, feel like such a warlock now. Okay, there we go. Bed, beautiful. And where's the bed going to go though? <laughs> There's like literally no room in any of the rooms. <laughs> oh, it's a bit embarrassing. I could get rid of the fire. Although it is kind of nice. I don't know. Alright, we've got a spawn point. Got a spawn point. That's the main thing, guys. Okay. Let's get rid of that. So, let's see. Where'd, where'd I put that? Let's fix that back up. Lovely. Okay, now that we have our super mage powers going on. Oh, no. Got to make a hook. Let's make the amethyst hook. Beautiful. Okay, we've got a hook too. Excellent. All right, let's put all our jemmies back for now. So we'll keep on our quest to get like the best. So we still need some more rubies to upgrade that. And I'm pretty sure we can buy a wizard hat, which gives us a set bonus with the magic robes. And then you can just wear whatever boots you want sort of thing. So speaking of that, let's see if we can't upgrade. Or if we can upgrade rather. Uh, we can make some lead boots. Silver. Shouldn't I be able to make silver boots? Is that... Is that worth it? Or should I be making silver equipment? No, no. Alright, let's make silver greaves. Shiny. <laughs> and I don't think wood equipment actually sells for anything, so we'll just chuck that out. Beautiful. Alright. We've done some good upgrades, guys. I'll just sort everything out and we'll move on to our next step. Alrighty, thanks as always for watching another episode of our Wolfgang the Warlock Expert Mode Let's Play. So we're really getting powered up, and next episode we're going hunting for Tim. And I actually think I can see this build going very glass cannon. So we're going to be quite powerful and yet <laughs> hardly able to take a hit. So it's going to be interesting, and um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up fighting Eye of Cthulhu next video as well. Um, I don't think we're going to need a lot of health. I think as long as we can move nice and fast 
and uh, just keep shooting that um, Sapphire Staff. We're going to do a fair bit of damage. We've already got 8 Critical Strike, and uh, the hat gives us another 10, which would be 18. So, pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Alright, it's time for some shout-outs, as always. And our first one is from Austin Towers, and asked me to say in a Wolfgang voice, Last me to say, my tower shall be the greatest anyone has ever seen. Well, eventually. <laughs> nice one, Austin. Thank you so much. Our next one is from the Minecraft Man 757. And we've got a cool little portal reference here. He's asked me to say, the cookie. <laughs> the cookie is a lie. <laughs> I don't think my Gladys voice is <laughs> that good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to play some more Portal now. <laughs> and next one is from Dragonfire161. And they've asked me to say in a Wolfgang voice again, Wolfgang is popular. I can't wait to get my cookie wand. Oh my gosh, cookie wand would be awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Dragonfire. And next one is from Um36. And they've asked me to say in a demon voice. Oh my gosh, demons. I always... I always do like a high pitched demon. Ask me to say, <laughs> your cookies are mine! <laughs> Thanks, um. And our last one is from Terraria Maniac. And they've asked me to say in a deep voice, the machine that creates cookies is finally complete. Mwah! Evil laugh. <laughs> Oh gosh. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And you might have noticed there was a few fades during the video. There was a ton of mining in this video. A ton and ton of mining. So I have cut it down a bit for you. And uh, next episode we're going to be straight into the action. We'll find Tim. We'll beat him up. Steal his hat. Then we'll find Ayo Cthulhu and we'll smash it. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. So leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. Had a lot of fun making it. And I can't wait. I can't wait to see what we do next. Uh, those worrying, about, worrying, wondering about Yaren, he'll be back very soon. I'm going to work on an episode tomorrow. So you'll probably get an expert and a Yaren. <gasps> gosh, should I be saying that? Oh my gosh, I'm committing to two. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> we'll see how it go, but there'll definitely be a Yaren. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, click that little, click that little icon in the right and right corner, the HD icon. You won't be disappointed and you have a great time with us. We've just reached 70,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing our subscriber celebration at 75,000, which is giveaways, map update, and more. You're going to have a great time. Make sure you're subscribed to be part of it. All right, guys, here's the most important part. As always, you'll stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!